Right now at six, a former South Carolina school resource officer and college basketball star has been sentenced to probation. Jamel Bradley admitted to sexually abusing two students between 2015 and 2018. This week, a judge suspended a five year prison sentence, giving him three years probation. So essentially no time in jail. We want to bring in chief legal analyst Khalif Rhodes. Khalif, these are serious crimes. How did he avoid jail time? Typically, these are negotiated pleas. I mean, so first of all, you, you got to talk about his attorney doing an excellent job trying to figure out how you can get a resolution. And so first of all, you're looking at a person's criminal history. Mm -hmm. You're going to determine did this person have some type of past? If they do, most of the time it's going to be hard for a judge to say they would agree to some type of sentence like this. Um, but you have to negotiate. You have to have something that the DA, um, some, most of the time it's looking at the case, looking at the facts of the case. What can you prove? Mm -hmm. um, even though you have these allegations, sometimes Sometimes allegations can't be supported by the facts that you have. And so they're saying, well, it's better for us to go ahead and get this plea while we can get it. And so now the details of the plea, that's different. We recognize that how do we avoid prison time? You avoid prison time by negotiating this with a DA that's open to, to, to having that conversation. And obviously that's what happened here. So he's avoiding jail time, but he still has to register as a sex offender. And there were some challenges with that. Right? That's that is a, is a normal process as well. When I talk to my clients, I say, look, I'm going to talk to the DA and I'm going to fight for you the best as I can. And if there are facts that support um, some type of negotiated plea, let's go ahead and try to, to figure out what I can do. Um, but I always say that even if me and the DA's office are able to come to an agreement, the judge ultimately has to OK whatever deal we get. And so oftentimes I'll have a deal. Me and the DA get up there. We go and present and then we go in front of the judge and the judge is like uh, I don't like that or I don't like parts of that um, for the most part um, these conversations are happening you know maybe for a length of time and so you can already kind of figure out what the judge temperament is at this moment but the judge in this case said okay I can agree to suspending the sentence that means you know I will sentence you to this amount and it's suspended meaning if you get in any trouble mm -hmm. I can unsuspend it and you can go to prison for that time and so that's already hanging over your head be successful on probation for a number of years three years in this time mm -hmm. frame and you're, you're just can go away. Okay, great. But in terms of the sex offender part, the judge didn't like that and wanted to stick. The, the, the counsel was saying, you know what, we'll, we'll ask the judge to reconsider that portion because now this changes this individual's life. So once that three year probation um, is up, is there any chance of him returning to a school or anything like that? Not likely. The, the fact that that registering as a sex offender is now connected to him. I mean, most of the time you can't get within 100 feet of a school. And so you can't go back to school. You can't go work there. It'd be hard for him to be a law enforcement officer um, or as a resource officer as he was in this situation. And so it, I think that's why his attorney was trying to get that as part of the negotiated plea. Try to find a way once he gets back out into the community, um, once probation is done and he starts to go out and try to find some career well can he do something that he was doing before i think this hurts him in that situation but as the judge said this is not something that she wants awesome thank you so much khalif for explaining everything for us we appreciate you